here we go. The Bengals lock in their first free agent of the offseason, bringing in former Raven safety Geno Stone on a two-year $15 million deal with a $6 million signing bonus at you know the contract signing right but also shelter for agent frosty as he break breaks down some stats as well so easy to see but stone 25 years old 5'11, 210 pounds a wonderful addition here for the Bengals, right one of the best safeties in football last season look at this pff's best zone covered safety boom perfect for cincinnati seven interceptions second best in the league i believe behind deron bland averaged or 0.25 yards per coverage with his fourth best in the NFL and then an 84.9 coverage grade as well which is really really good guys in this video we're going to break down some film and talk a little bit about what Geno Stone adds to the Cincinnati Bengals before we get into the video make sure you guys do me a favor and give me a letter grade in the comment section as well as subscribe if you're new it is free doesn't cost anything but let's get right into the video now here we go, Geno Sp Stone, like I said, coming off a 7 interception season, an absolute ball hawk here for Mike McDonald and the uh, Ravens last season as their safety, but when you look at the Bengals team right now, you know, you have Dax Hill, but you needed a free safety, you had Nick Scott from last season, didn't really turn out the way you wanted it to be, but Geno Stone is an absolute game changer as well. Now shout out to Simply AS10, go follow him on YouTube, makes so many good highlights, this is from him him his little uh you know little you know uh what's it called mixtape of geno stone but here we go we're gonna see against the Bengals. quite frankly joe burrow throws over the middle gets boom sticked by geno stone over the middle i mean he is not afraid to put his body on the line to make a tackle at any point in time again joe burrow kicks it over jamar chase on a little bit of a bubble screen now again you block one guy the other guy is gonna go unblocked your geno stone gonna make an absolute great tackle here on jamar chase and you know keeps him up for his teammates pat queen and some other guys to come in for a huge tackle geno stone is a guy everyone loves he gives all effort on every single play and again versus the Bengals. this is what you guys are getting here boom jumps in front gets an interception over t higgins Geno Stone is an absolute perfect fit here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, when you look at their stats defensively last season, they ranked number nine in interception percentage, which is perfect, right? Because you need interceptions, you need to create turnovers, and that is exactly what Geno Stone does here for or did for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, here we go against the Colts over the middle. Gets a nice little tackle, but then uses offhand to secure it. Almost even gets in there for a forced fumble. Um, easy interception there. Just an overthrown ball there by uh, the Browns. This is what we want to see, man. And if you're Cincinnati, you have to be happy, right? He's not too expensive. You get him for relatively cheap. Um, but he also is going to come in and help stop the run as well. Here we see end around here to George Pickens. And you're going to see Geno Stone make an unbelievable tackle from, you know, up top here. Gets in between the defenders and comes down here, right? Makes a great play and gets down George Pickens. Guys, I'm telling you right now, I think Cincinnati is going to slowly start to fall in love with what Geno Stone adds to uh, the Bengals. Now, with that being said, guys, there is a lot of room for the Bengals to grow. Obviously, you need a new defensive tackle or you might bring back DJ Reader. That's up for debate. You might trade T. Higgins to his franchise tag. Tyler Boyd looks like he could be gone from here. Um, they lose Jonah Williams in free agency, I believe. Actually, maybe not yet. I don't think he left yet. Uh, but I'm not too sure uh, what's going to happen with Jonah Williams. But with that being said, there is still a lot for the Bengals to do. They don't have too much money to do it. They're losing Joe Mixon. It looks like they could release him. Maybe they bring in an Aaron Jones or an Austin Eckler type. But Geno Stone is definitely a good fit here with Mike Hilton and Cam Taylor Britt and uh, Dax Hill, DJ Turner. I think this secondary is ready to compete next season. And hopefully Burrow is ready to compete as well. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we post a Bengals video going forward. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.